Good morning and when today Emmanuel God is indeed with us. Now there is an upcoming service which is coming on the 30th. It will be on Friday of this month of September. It's going to be living water service. Living water service is going to take place at the synagogue church of all nations Nigeria. It will be a very powerful service. I told you, Tibi Joshua may have gone to heaven, but the covenant which God made with Prophet Tibi Joshua is still alive. We serve a covenant keeping God. The power is still there. Many prophets prophesied that after Tibi Joshua is gone, the synagogue is going to die. The synagogue is not yet dead. You can see God is alive. The God of Prophet Tibi Joshua is still alive, working at the synagogue, healing the sick delivering people and bringing freedom to the lives of many across the globe. Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Fasonyama, Cleo with him. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. This channel will talk about the deep things of God in Christ Jesus. We also do commentary videos not happening within the body of Christ. If you want to donate to this ministry, use the information at the description box or at the comment section which I've pinned below. Now, guys, there's this service which has been announced. It will be on Emmanuel TV. For those who will not be able to make it to Nigeria, you can watch it on Emmanuel TV. Living Water Service, which will take place at the Synagogue Church of All Nation on the 30th of September. It will be on, it will be on, on Friday. It will be on a Friday. So, guys, those who are in West African nations, you can make an effort and attend. Those in Nigeria make an effort and attend. Those who are in Ghana, you can make an effort and attend. Those who are in Cameroon, make an effort and attend that service. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. It's the first living water service since the prophet left. And I know that it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I remember how it used to happen during the days of Prophet T.B. Joshua. You'd uh, come and open the taps, you know, at the altar. And there were tap, taps behind the altar that would open the taps, and then people would come with their cups. People were given those uh, uh, transparent plastic cups and would come and fill and, uh, fetch, and uh, fetch water from the taps. Now, you're, you're supposed to fetch only little water, and uh, many things usually used to happen at the altar. I remember there was a certain girl whom the spiritual eyes were open and, she, and she's, she, began, she began to see angels in the altar. She saw angels, you know, she was pointing, you know, she was like, uh, she was like, she had seen something amazing. She had seen angels, you know, and uh, she started calling out, I can see angels, I can see angels, people were gathered. Now that happened after they were she had come into contact with the water. Many people drank the water and they were healed. Nobody prayed for them. Many people, after drinking the water, they were delivered. Many started to vomit. Many things happened. Strange things happened after they, they took uh, that the living water. So this service is back again. And I can't wait to see how it's going to take place. So those who are not be, that, those who are not be able to be in uh, Nigeria, you can watch live on Emmanuel TV. It will, it will be broadcasted live and it's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. There's so much sickness. There's so much pain. People are going through a lot. People are going through, you know, disappointments in their careers, disappointments in so many areas. People need deliverance. And this is the time. If you are near Nigeria, you can find your way to the service but take of this uh, rare opportunity which has been given to us by the spirit of god but take into it and i believe that your life will never be the same again so guys the god of prophet tb joshua is alive i told you in a certain video which i did that no when god gives you when god gives somebody power you have to enter into a covenant with god we serve a covenant keeping God. You cannot relate with God without a covenant. This way, Abraham had a covenant, David had a covenant, everybody who worked with God had a covenant. Now, there's some people who are mistaken. When I say covenant, they think that the only covenant that we have is the new covenant, which 
was purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's true, but that is the covenant of giving us salvation. But now for you to do business with God, for you to work with God, for you to have an engagement with God where you work with God, you need to enter a covenant with God. Yes, and that covenant will have demands. There are some things God will demand of you from that covenant. That's why you find that there are some people, you know, they pray for maybe for 24 hours. That's the covenant which they made with God. There are some people who would do things in a, in a certain way. That's the covenant which they made with God. And as long as they maintain that covenant, the power of God will still work. So, I tell people, God has the covenant with Prophet T.B. Joshua. And the covenant with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Now, the fact that the prophet is not around, he has, has gone to heaven, it doesn't mean that the power is not there. The covenant is intact. The covenant is still alive. The covenant is still alive. And that covenant is the source of power. You say, the Holy Spirit is the source of power. Yes, the Holy Spirit is the source, is the source of power. But listen, before the Holy Spirit you know, entrusts you with power, you need to enter into a covenant with God. You, you, you think that God will just dash out his power just like that? If if you are you were, were God, let me just give an example. Will you just dash out power to people anyhow just because they want it, you just give them power? No. You have to meet some requirements. You have to enter into a covenant. Why am I saying requirements? Why am I saying covenant? So that that power doesn't destroy you. So that that power, because power without no, without uh, uh, fulfillment of some uh, things like maturity, like uh, not having the fruits of the Holy Spirit can destroy you. Power can destroy you. Now this is why God has to enter into a covenant with people to entrust them with power. God enter, enters the covenant with them so that he can entrust them with power. So God entered the covenant. God has a covenant, even though this Bishop Oedipus, God has a covenant to them. All, all men, any man of God being used by God, God has entered the covenant with them. If you don't know it, know it. Everybody, you must enter a covenant with God for God to work with you. It's a covenant keeping God. And you need to fulfill the demands of the covenant. So, Prophet T.B. Joshua may not be around physically, but the covenant is intact. The covenant is at work. And that, because of that covenant, God is still healing people, delivering people, and setting people free. Even in the Israelites, it is the covenant which God made with their forefathers, which kept them alive. It is the covenant which God made with their fathers, which prevented God from destroying them. Because even if they had done something wrong, God could punish them. But at a, at a point, it will, it will reach a point whereby God will remember the covenant which he made with their fathers and God will stop. In this world, we are living in the realm of the spirit. We are living in the, in, the, in, the, in the realm of covenants. There has to be covenant. Now the covenant which God made with Prophet is still alive. That's why I say people are People will still be healed. People will still be delivered. Because it's a covenant. And God is a covenant keeping God. So guys, I hope you are blessed. Don't miss the service. If you cannot attend, watch it on Emmanuel TV and you'll be blessed. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen.